I'm back. Did you miss me? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a pack with me. If you watched my previous video, then you know that I'm traveling for a bachelorette trip. I'm going to be showing you guys how I pack my suitcase as well as what I bring in my carry-on bag. Guys, I tend to overpack and get a little bit out of control. You would think that I have this down by now. I travel every other weekend to my boyfriend's house and it's about an hour away so I have to bring everything that I need. And I literally bring way too much and maybe wear like a third of what I bring the entire time. So you would think that I'm a pro but I still get crazy, so we'll see how this goes. Maybe you'll learn something, maybe you won't, but I just wanted to show you guys how I do things. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, you should. Okay guys, for packing, I have found that I do like rolling my items in my suitcase. I feel like it gives a lot more space in the suitcase and then it also allows me to see all of my pieces better than if they were folded and having to like look under the layers and mess up my entire suitcase so i did this before on my last trip and i found it to be really effective for traveling so i'm gonna do it again and i started by putting my undergarments in this little mesh pack right here i put all of my underwear in this section and then I put bras and socks in this side. My PJ pants and yoga pants on the bottom of this panel and then on top of that I'm gonna layer pajama shirts and loungewear shirts. Okay, for this side, I'm going to put all of my daytime tops and my pants and jeans and all of the denim rolled together on this side. All of the bigger items are going to go over here on this side. gonna put the more delicate items just draped over the top so that way they don't get too ruined while they're in the suitcase so I didn't really fold them I just kind of laid them flat so that they don't get too wrinkly while they're in the suitcase okay and then I have jewelry and makeup that I'm also putting in my um, check-in bag and I did get these little clear bags from Princess Polly. I think there was a set about five of them and they're all clear which I like because when I'm traveling again I like to have easy access to all of the stuff that I'm bringing so I put all of my makeup that I use on a daily basis in here all of my good brushes and daily essentials that I'll need and one or two palettes in here and then the more fragile palettes I'm gonna put in my carry-on with me because I am so sketched out that they're gonna get broken on the flight. That is like my biggest nightmare. So makeup is in here. I'm just gonna lay it on top. And then I have jewelry in here. I have my chokers in this little box and rings and earrings in this bag. And these little bags and boxes are like gift bags that I got at Ulta and when I bought jewelry from a store they gave me this box. So I like keeping these things. I'm a hoarder for these because they come in handy when I'm traveling. So I always keep these and reuse them for travel and whatever else I need. They always come in handy. So jewelry's in here. I'm just gonna lay this flat on top. I have another tripod that I'm bringing. I am using my smaller Manfrotto while I'm traveling, but I'm gonna bring this one just to have just in case, and I'm just gonna throw that somewhere 
wherever it fits in the suitcase. And then for bags, I have two bags that I'm bringing. I'm just bringing these two crossbody bags. This one's like a little fur crossbody bag with a chain little strap. Super cute. And then another plain black and gold crossbody bag as well. And I'm just gonna lay those flat on top of everything else. And then more jewelry. I kept, again, these little reusable Zoffel bags when I went on a Zoffel haul. It came, everything comes, like clothing and everything comes in these little packages and they have a little clasped little zip thing at the top so you can reuse them and when I got them I was like ooh I'm holding on to these because I'm gonna need these when I'm traveling and yeah it came in handy for my jewelry so I have all of my dainty little necklaces in here. Alright guys moving on to the other side of the suitcase this is where I'm gonna put my shoes and other BS that I need to squeeze in here. So I'm just gonna kind of arrange the shoes on the bottom layer so that they fit nicely and not super squished, but we're gonna see. like a damn puzzle. Okay, so I laid the first layer of shoes down. Looks like it fits really nicely. And then again, coming back with the hoarder bags, I'm just gonna put these over the top of the shoes because I'm gonna put more stuff on top and I don't want the shoes to get ruined or dirty for whatever reason, I just don't want the other stuff to touch them. And then they're gonna come in handy, you guys, because I'm gonna put all of like my dirty laundry in these bags before I travel back home because I'm a weirdo and I don't like my worn clothes or anything to be touching items that I didn't wear on the trip. So I like to have little bags to put my dirty laundry in to bring home. Okay, and then I'm just adding a few more items to the top of this. I don't want to overpack it. I'm already feeling a little crazy about this suitcase. Like, can you believe that I'm only leaving for a weekend? Again, super weirdo. I like having a steamer when I travel because clothes obviously get super smushed in the suitcase and when you're traveling, they just don't ever hang right when you take them out. So I like to bring a steamer so that my outfits can always be Brush to death. And then I'm bringing a few hats, a few dad hats, and then this little black hat in the front. I don't like to bring like a straightener, a curling iron, and a blow dryer if I don't have to. And luckily, the house that we're going to, it's um, the bride's fiance's parents' house in Sedona. And they already have everything there. They have um, hair products, skincare, everything that we could need is going to be at the house already. And if I need a straightener or anything else, I'm sure it's gonna be there between like 10 of us girls. That is it for my suitcase. Hopefully I don't have to add any more items to this babe because it is busting at the seams. So we'll see if it even closes, I'm not sure. But this is how I pack my luggage and 
pretty simple. There's not much to it. Just rolling the items and making sure that everything is as flat as possible so that you can fit as much in there because if you're like me, you don't know how to travel light. So this is my packing tips. Oh Lord. Dunzo. Okay guys, for my carry-on, I'm just bringing a backpack because it is only an hour and a half flight. I don't need that much stuff with me. So the first item that I'm bringing in the carry-on is my laptop because most airplanes do have Wi-Fi. Hopefully mine does because I need any distraction from the actual flight. And then I do have another clear bag which has electronics in it. So it has a portable charger, extra batteries, extra SD cards, all the goodies in here. And then in this clear bag, I have a bunch of other little necessities that might come in handy on a flight. I just have a facial hydrating spray. I have makeup wipes because you never know what if i want to take my makeup off i don't know but at least i have them feminine wipes that um just keep you fresh you know when you're traveling and you're sitting for a long time you don't want to be crusty and dusty so these are always good to have they're good to have for every situation just to have in your purse backpack wherever you're going these are really good little freshen up and clearly I am a clean freak, so I love these. Next is a little spray perfume. This one my girlfriend got for me in Brazil. She brought it back for me. It smells so good, you guys. I tried finding it online to see if they would ship to United States or if they even sold it online and I think I might have found a place um, if I'm able to find it I will leave it in the link below for you guys and next we have in this little bag we have just a little compact some gum just in case your breath is a little rank we have hair ties because who knows? Bobby pins because if I want to put my hair up, my hair is so short and the little pieces fall back and I look like I have a mullet. So I always need bobby pins to make sure that my hair is on point. Tweezers. Who knows? You never know. Nail clippers, again, what if your girl needs them? You got them, you know? You just gotta be prepared for every situation when you're traveling because who knows what could happen. And then I do have lip products in this bag. I have chapsticks and all of my basic nudes because nudes and pinks are really all that I wear. Maybe a red if I'm feeling fancy, but just like the lip products that I use on a daily basis. I keep in here and I'm going to keep in my carry-on just so I have easy access to it just in case I need to touch up and look fab for my flight. And then also I do have headphones that I'm bringing to drown out if anybody annoying is sitting next to me, which hopefully not. But I have just the rose gold Beats by Dre and these will do. I also have earbuds, which I'll probably bring because these can be a little uncomfortable if you're wearing them for too long. So bringing headphones and also hand sanitizer because again, I'm a germaphobe. So this is going in the front pocket where I'll have easy access to it. And then I told you guys earlier that I'm bringing my palettes 
on my carry-on with me because I'm so scared that they're gonna break if I put them in my suitcase. So I'm gonna put these two on my carry-on. I can't go without these. I literally grab for these daily. They have so many good colors in them. This is the Morphe 35T palette and this one is the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition. Most important, my wallet because again, I'm not bringing a purse, I'm packing all that in my suitcase. So my wallet's gonna be coming in the backpack with me as well. So I have this backpack and the straps are super comfortable. And then it has the inside with a bunch of pockets and then it has the laptop insert so I don't have to bring a sleeve for my laptop, which is sick and then it has the front pockets, another front pocket, places for pens. Okay guys, that is it. That is all that I'm bringing. I'm all, all that I'm bringing. I brought so much stuff, probably too much stuff, but you never know. I like to be prepared for any situation and I hope this video was maybe helpful for you. Who knows, at least you guys got a peek into how I do things. I am vlogging the bachelorette trip and that video will be up shortly as well. So stay tuned if you want to see all the festivities that we're getting into. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. If you're new here, what else do I have? Anyways, cut.